Welcome to Mimi's Math Channel. Today I will find the volume of a composite figure using the cylinder, cone, rectangular prism, and hemisphere formulas. So this is what they look like. For example one, we're going to find the volume of a composite figure and we're going to round it to the nearest tenth. So I see that I have a hemisphere on top of a rectangular prism. So that means I'm going to use these two formulas. I'm going to find the volume separately and since they're on top of each other, I'm going to add those volumes together. The volume of a hemisphere is V is equal to 2 thirds pi r cubed and we are given that r is 3. So that's what we're going to substitute in for the formula. So we have 2 thirds pi times 3 raised to the third power which is 27. And so 27 times 2 which is the numerator times pi all of that is going to be divided by 3 if that's how you're putting it in your calculator. And when you do that you're going to end up with 18 pi. We're asked to round it to the nearest tenths, but we're going to wait until the end once we combine both of the volumes. So this was for the hemisphere. So the next one is for the rectangular prism. And that formula is going to be length times width times height. And for this one, I'm just going to use 5 times 10 times 4. So I'm getting that information from here, here, and here. Once I combine that and I simplify it, I see that the volume for the rectangular prism is 200. But since it's a composite figure, what I want to do is I want to add both of those together. So in your calculator, go ahead and add 18 pi plus 200. But based off of the directions, we want to round it to the nearest tenths. And that's going to be 256.5. And our units will be cubic centimeters. This is the final answer. For example two, we are asked to find the volume of a composite figure, leave the answer in terms of pi, and round it to the nearest hundreds. So now this one is a little bit different. I see a shape within a shape. So I see a cone that's inside of a cylinder. So my formulas that I'm going to use will be these two formulas here. But this time, since one is inside of the other, instead of adding, I am going to actually subtract. So you want to start with the outside figure, which in this case is is going to be the cylinder. So for my cylinder, the volume is going to be V is equal to pi R squared times the height, where R is 6. So we're going to raise 6 to the second power, and then our height is 10. Go ahead and put that in the calculator. And so for our cylinder, the volume is going to be 360 pi. I'm just going to leave it there for now. And like I said, once I get to the end, that's when I will actually uh, follow these directions. So now I'm going to go to my volume of a cone, which is very similar. The only difference is I have to divide it by three. So one third of pi r squared times height, and I'm going to use the same information. R is still six, and I'm still going to square it. My height is still 10. And like I said, I'm taking 360 pi, which I got from the cylinder, and I'm going to divide it by three. One third of 360 pi is going to be 120 pi. Now, since I have a shape within a shape, I have to subtract the two. So 360 pi minus 120 pi gives me 240 pi. So when it says leave the answer in terms of pi, that's one of my answers. And then the other one is to round it to the nearest hundred. So I'm just going to take this 240 pi and in my calculator, I'm going to convert it to a decimal, which is 753.98 cubic feet. That concludes the video. Thumbs up, subscribe, have an awesome day.